What's up my people? DK here. Uh, I'm back with some more sur Hunger Games on the pond. I'm uh, doing this in place of Skyrim until I can get that final piece of the puzzle in, in, uh, in, um, in place for the, uh, console setup. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, Alright, we're on highway again. This seems to be like pretty much everyone's favorite map because it's so easy to get kills on this. I'm thinking about uh possibly editing my skin and uh, well not using this skin as a base I will still give props to uh, I don't even know who made this skin I may make a whole li new skin or I may keep this one I don't know I don't know I really like the chessboard skin but I kinda wanna make something of my own Nah, it's probably all rooted. Come on, chest, 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 chest. Yes, chest. No, I don't need this. Chest need no chest. Uh oh. Here comes trouble. Come on, sprint! Just are so far and few in between in this map. So, uh, all right, uh, good. There's a chest. A wood sword. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> now let's go looking for trouble. There we go. Come here! That, wow, that was really bad lag. Instant night. Where is this?
Alright, well, slash hub. Surprisingly, that's the first time I've seen the owner's skin on the, uh, his server. This, this ain't all loading in, but this is actually a very impressive build. Two dudes, a girl. There's a surprise. No, that actually is a surprise. Oh, they're all in game. Uh, I, I'm gonna talk about a. Uh, I'm going to start uh, top, top, talking about a topic uh, every uh, every one of these eps episodes. Maybe that'll make it a little bit more interesting. Besides me uh, failing at... I might as well just spectating. Uh, start talking about uh, a uh, a uh, topic every episode and there is a lot of people thank you uh, I'm gonna start talking about a topic every episode so uh, first Alright, every episode, alright, you can suggest, everyone, all my viewers can suggest a topic for me to talk about as I'm hunger gaming it up. Now, if I ever do this with uh, somebody else, if I ever do a collab on this series, I will not be uh, doing the topic thing. This is just a, uh, this is uh, just a uh, way for me to, uh, to uh be confident in uh, my uh be confident in my ah oh, not this one uh be confident in my abilities to uh commentate on something I'm just going to book it All right so my first topic uh is going to be Obamacare all right. From my understanding of Obamacare, uh, it's basically insurance that you have to buy, and if you can't buy it, they'll tax you more heavily on it, and then they'll make you buy it. Now, in my opinion, that's unconstitutional because uh, Americans have the right to decide what they want to do. That's called freedom. So, by making everyone sign up for something, that ain't freedom, that's unconstitutional. Now, I was talking about this to a friend, and he said, well, you don't have to buy it. But, if you don't buy it, then they'll tax you more heavily. So, in retrospect, you do have to buy it, and then they'll still tax you. That's not going to help the government at all. 
it's just going to run a lot more jobs out of run a lot of good companies are providing jobs out of out of business insurance companies are going to take a big hit and have to lay off jobs in America because of Obama's dumb idea sure it will help in the in the short term but in long term it won't help because it'll knock out more jobs and sure it will create a few jobs but not as many as are is it going to get knocked out a lot of people just died really Am I getting attacked? Or oh, it's a lumber mill. It's a pretty good lumber mill. Oh crap. I hate this map anyway. Alright, so. We're I lost my train of thought. Uh. It'll help short term but it'll knock out more jobs than it's going to start because uh, basically all established you're very much forced to sign up for Obamacare because if not you don't do it they'll tax you on it uh, if you do do so you kinda have to do it and from my understanding it's Decent enough. It's decent enough medic insurance, and with the Medicare sup Obamacare and the supplement insurance, it's pretty good insurance. But it'll knock out a lot of full co since you're already pa gotta pay for that. And it's this you j you don't need the other insurance that is already established and already provides jobs. So, you're just gonna. I really think it that uh, Obama's care is a stupid idea, all around. And, and I also think that the. All right, let me do two topics in one. Government shutdown. I really just think that that the politicians need to get their big boy pants on and figure some stuff out. Maybe if we weren't paying them all this money. Let's just cut their entire paycheck and see how long it takes them to figure this out. That's my solution to this problem. We'd be... Uh, we would have everything fixed in a year. Probably less than a year. Considering how much they get paid. They would probably, uh... That would probably light a fire under their butt to get their stuff together and do the work. As long as we're paying them, as long as we're paying them to do nothing, essentially, I didn't get anything. As long as we're paying them to do nothing, essentially, they're not going to do any work. They're going, they're going to drag everything they can out to squeeze more money out of the, out of us, the taxpayer. Someone just needs to get their big point pants on and figure some stuff out. We need a we need a champion of the people nowadays. We need a Roosevelt. We need a Lincoln. And I'm dying. So. We need someone who really who knows what they're doing, but is cares more about the people he serves than about his paycheck. That's where we went wrong. We we started voting people who cared more about their paycheck, their paycheck, than the people.
It should be the other way around. We should be voting people, electing people who care about the people and not their paycheck. Only one president has ever, has ever forgone his paycheck. And that was George Washington during the revolution. Well, technically he wasn't president yet. Technically. He wasn't president yet, so technically no president has ever given up his paycheck. I do believe George Washington gave up his paycheck when he was a general during the Revolutionary War, but I don't believe he did it during his presidency. Huh, <laughs> that's pretty good skin. It's still a fanboy skin, but it's a pretty neat skin. Need someone took the time to do that, especially considering uh, the uh, Kermit plays MC was a bullied teen. I'm a pretty big fan of him. I don't know if he was bullied when he was a teen, but he was bullied in school. So it's kind of ironic that that guy made a uh, Kermit plays MC skin in a uh, scholarship jacket. Uh, alright, so I kept you guys long enough. Uh, hopefully you don't mind me, uh, raving about, uh, how the uh, government's messed up. And, uh, this, the, uh, long-term effects of Obamacare. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you don't mind too much. If you want me to talk about something other than politics, feel free to put anything in that in that comment box, and I will uh, check it out and see what you guys want me to talk about. Until then, I'll keep talking about it. I'm gonna be uh, recording all night and see if I can get a nice little stash of these Hunger Games video, Hunger Games videos to put out. I just felt like doing some PvP one night th tonight, and I n knew this server was rarely busy, so I decided to uh, log on and do a pretty long recording session. Thank you very much. Kept you long enough. See ya.